We are getting a first glimpse into some of the grant increases the city of Mobile is getting after annexing nearly 20,000 people this summer. WKRG News 5's Asher Red is here with the numbers. And Asher, the money will be used to revive areas hit hardest by the 2020 hurricanes. Yeah, Roseanne, so the city is getting over $800,000 more dollars straight from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The department instructed that the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs directs the money to areas hit the hardest by Hurricanes Sally and Zeta. The city was already getting over 52 million in a deck of funds as it was, but after requesting that ADECA review and recalculate the number after the recent annexation, that number increased by $805,000. Senior Director of Neighborhood Development Jamie Roberts says the money will be spent in low to moderate income neighborhoods. We anticipate before the plan, you know, we'll see the plan when it comes out, but before the plan gets finalized, we anticipate primarily being District 123, uh, maybe a little bit in seven. The city will be receiving an additional $1 million from the state for planning purposes in about a month. The $805,000 will be used as project funds after the planning phase is finished. And this is not an annual grant. Roberts says that once the population census is sent to the federal government, it would take a few years to see a change in annual federal and state funds. Live in the studio this evening, Asher Red, WKRG News 5.